guys? It's your girl, Miss Hobbs, and I want to know what you chewing today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Check me out on Roku as well. Today, guys, we are going to be chewing on some smothered chicken. Ooh, nice. This is the way that my great grandfather used to make his. With a slight twist, of course. You know, Miss Hobbs is doing it. So, in here, I have uh, five pieces of bacon that I cut up and I'm rendering down because I want to use the bacon fat in order to make my roux. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and this is just about ready. We're not gonna, we're not gonna toss this bacon, y'all. You know we're gonna use it. So the bacon is gonna go in one of my side dishes that I'll have with this a little bit later on. Got it. So I have that pan over there ready for my bacon. No doubt. Give that bacon love, y'all. Make sure y'all comment down below what y'all eating on this week. You know, Miss Hobbs is highly influenced. Your next dish could be our next dish as well. Tell me. And guys, it won't be a complete sin if you leave a couple pieces of bacon in there. <laughs> That'll be just all right. In here, we have the Trinity. We have onions, bell pepper, and celery mm -hmm. going in. Well, most Ooh. of it's going in. Good gosh, y'all. That thing just hit that pot. All that bacon fat, you know what time it is. <laughs> time to hit the dough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, y'all, that's, that's, that's unbearable right there. That's that good, good. Exactly. <clears throat> And I'm going to add in salt and pepper. Got a nice wrist workout with that pepper. Yes, it's coming. It's just coming. That's what she said. No, she ain't lie like that. <laughs> And salt. And I'm just going to cook this down probably about five to six minutes. Let the vegetables soften up just a little bit. So I will see you guys back in just a moment. All right, guys, we are back, and we have let the veg sweat down some, and now we're going to add in some love. Mm -hmm. That garlic love. Two cloves of garlic. Mm -hmm. That's smelling good, y'all. I'm telling you, now. It's cold out there, though. <laughs> Go on out there. Mm-mm. I'm good. Go out there. Mm-mm. I'm all right. That's mm -hmm. what heat is for. No, that garlic doing something, something. Yes, it is. I don't know. All right, guys. I am making my roux using the fat from the bacon and some flour. Mm-hmm. Ooh, y'all. Y'all, I'm mad. Mm -mm. NBA All-Star game is right up the street in Charlotte, and I'm here at home. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> that Charlotte would be too far, though, right? <laughs> Charlotte's not that far. It's not that far. It's far enough. Not that far. <laughs> I need some water, guys. Let me get some water over here. My goodness. <clears throat> I like that Chuck and shirt you got on this, huh? Thank you, thank you. Yeah. My mother and I did a little shopping <laughs> while I was home with her. Y'all, let me tell you about my mama. She just don't know. Your girl don't don't shop like that. She well, she know that. I've been like this all my life. That woman had me up in the stove for an hour and a half. Mm, mm, mm. She is good timing it on her scooter. <laughs> and I'm her, I should have got a scooter. Okay? 
I'm in there about to die, y'all. Your girl was about to die trying to follow my mama around in that school. <laughs> How you do it? She had her grand old time. Glad she did. Glad she did. And we almost forgot what we went in there for in the first place. Mmm. Golly. How y'all both of it? Because it was an hour and a half late. I, you know, I was ready to go a long time ago. But we ended up getting her Pam. She got an air fryer for Christmas. Her god brother got her air fryer. So she saw something where if you spray a little oil on your chicken or whatever you air frying, it turns out a little crispier. So mm. she gonna get that a shot, guys. I don't have an air fryer. I don't think I want one. I, ha I have to cook too much volume of food for an air fryer. They got some big ones? No, not really. Oh. <clears throat> you know, I have to cook for y'all. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm just adding the water in a little bit at a time. And we're making a gravy. <clears throat> and I'm making sure to get the bits off the bottom of the pan as I go. And I'm going to put some browning agent in here, too. I use ki Kitchen Bouquet for my browning agent. I just don't have it out right this second, but I will be using it today. Nice. All right, I'm gonna add in the rest of the water. <clears throat> and this is a four cup measuring cup, so that was a total of four cups of water. Got it. All right. Now I did say we are eating stew, uh, smothered chicken, so we need some chicken. Mm -hmm. How about that, guys? Let's get us some chicken. <clears throat> Let's get some chicken tonight. Over here I have some cut up quarters that have salt and pepper. And so I'm just going to go in with the chicken. touch on that pepper on there, y'all, you know, so if you yes. see it sprinkle, sprinkles on perfectly, it's because Child boo. B33. Yes, B33 sprinkle pepper on the chicken, y'all. You know, I sprinkle, sprinkle, <laughs> you know, made it look pretty. <laughs> don't hate on the, uh, don't hate on the pepper shaker. Don't hate okay. on the sprinkle game. I have fun. Don't hate on the pepper shaker. That's me. Mm -hmm. I'm the pepper mm -hmm. grinder, the pepper shaker. I got the plate so I wouldn't drip a mess across the floor. What did I just do? Drip the mess across the floor. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. It happens. All right. Let me wash my hands real quick. Yeah, I didn't get my top out for the pan either. That's all right. All right, guys, I am going to let this go. I'm gonna put a top on here and let it cook down for about 20, 25 minutes and we will be ready with some stewed chicken, guys. So I will see you in just a few. All right, guys, this is the browning agent that I told you I was gonna use. I use one and a half capfuls of the browning agent in the whole pot. Yeah. And here we go, we have the smothered chicken, mm -hmm. rice, and some green beans. All right. This is Miss Hobbs' version of my grandfather Bonnie Granger's smothered chicken, guys. All right. Tad that up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. And as always, until next time, smooches. Be, be, be,
make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And if you like this channel, make sure you hit the like button and make sure you hit the notification bell. That way, when we release a new video, you know first. Thank you, guys.